In this video, I'll be sharing with you one of the reasons that is stopping you from making money or why. Is it a good title? How will I put it? I don't want it to be only limited to the women folks. I still want to make it to still feel general. I would have loved to put it that reason why women, like young ladies, are poor, like or not up to that financial level they need to be. So I'll find a, a title for it. <laughs> that will be the title of this video. But what I looked at it around, I looked around and I saw that we young ladies are not that financially buoyant especially african folks i don't know why but looking at it the rate of poverty is alarming and we're not really doing the best or we're not even working towards achieving it and that's the reason why you see that most people just come out from school get married give birth and that's it life goes on <laughs> right or maybe get a job and they just live this basic kind of life. I, I'm not going to make it sound like, oh, I know the, I know it all or something. But if that life, if you fulfilled living that way, please don't pick offense. I'm not going in that life. But I'm just trying to talk to my fellow young people out there that why are we spending so much money on material things? Why are we spending so much money on material things? I'm not saying don't look beautiful, but ensure that what is upstairs <laughs> is greater than what is physically like on you, right? I recently met some ladies, a group of ladies, and they were all looking good, latest gadget, everything. And I was like, this gadget can make them tons of money. But no, they were just all looking flashy, good, you know, and the lights. Maybe that's fulfillment for them. I don't know. But looking at it, why? Why? You're carrying the latest phone, wearing the latest air, but it's not reproducing. Like, is, are you fulfilled that way? Sorry, I'm, don't take it in a bad light. I'm just trying to say some reasons, some of the reasons why people are not yet financially buoyant is that one, we spend money on things that are not necessary. We've turned two, You've made some things your God, right? You've shifted your focus from where you ought to face to another. Now, look at our young people now. We all want this quick money, fast money. Nobody wants it the usual way. And funny, there's nothing quick. The one that leads, that road that leads quick, <laughs> there's trouble at the end. There's trouble at the end. So this is just... It will call to, especially my young ladies out there, shift your focus from lashes, this, that, that. Don't let it be the center of your attention, if you understand. I'm not, I'm not saying don't do it, but don't let it own you up. Don't let it box your mind up that your beauty is only in the physical. No. I want us to do more. I want us to do better. We can... Wake up that entrepreneurial spirit in you. Wake up that ability to take risks. Wake up that ability to <laughs> explore. Do what nobody in your family has done. Let's just leave this level of just come out of school, get married, get job, have kids, and sit fit. <laughs> if that makes sense. But this is a wake-up call to every one of us young ladies out there. Let's do more. Let's do more. Let's do more. We can we can change the, we can do more for ourselves, we can do more for our family. Let's not just live life the usual. That's all I brought for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye for now. Yeah, and if you've not registered for my course, French Mosh, French course, learn French in three months. That's a good way for you to skill up. Yes, we of be using that money to go and buy that, what will not be produced anything positive 10 years to come skill up now being bilingual or even leading to be a polygot is to your own advantage do us a role for the class use the link in the description box below to register and i'll see you in another video bye for now